Don't worry. Nothing happened. We are just training the staff to be fast in emergency cases to save people's life. We have some diseases like heart problems that are really fatal and each moment makes a difference. For that, let's learn in this video about the diseases and complications that are affecting the circulatory system like heart diseases, brain stroke, and high blood pressure. As we know, the circulatory system made up of heart, blood, blood vessels. The system is essential to keeping our body functioning because it's responsible for distributing oxygen, nutrients, electrolytes, and hormones throughout our body. Any interruptions or blockage or any disease affecting the circulatory system, it will impact our body in a negative way. So let's start and learn about it. Starting by heart diseases, heart attack, occurs when the blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked usually by a blood clot. Without oxygenated blood, the heart muscle begins to die. Another one, coronary artery disease, that occurs when there is a buildup of cholesterol plaque inside the artery walls. With time, this buildup of plaque may partially block the artery and decrease the blood flow through it. Another one, valvular heart disease as it's clear in the figures that will affect the valves of the heart so that will affect the function and all we know that these valves will regulate the blood flow in and out of the heart which is bad to be affected moving to brain stroke a stroke is loss of a blood flow to part of the brain it happens when a blood clot blocks an artery in the brain or when a bleed from a blood vessel in the head creates pressure in the brain. In either case, brain cells die and the brain is damaged temporarily or permanently. We have three types of strokes. Ischemic stroke, hemorrhagic stroke, transient ischemic attack, which will be warning for a mini stroke. Last thing, I'll talk about hypertension, which is known as high blood pressure. It's a long-term medical condition in which the blood pressure in the arteries is persistently elevated. We have common factors that can lead to high blood pressure. When we have a diet high in salt, fat, or cholesterol. Chronic conditions such as kidney and hormone problems, diabetes, and high cholesterol. Add to that family history, especially if we have our parents or other close relatives having hypertension. That's it. Thanks for watching.